back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because it is another travel video. I know my past vlog was one in Park City, but today is New Year's Eve and I'm so excited because we are doing a road trip with my family now. The past week we have been with Aiden's family and so I hope you guys all had just a great Christmas and by the time that you're watching this, a really great New Year's too. I hope you all are doing well. If I look tired, <laughs> the reason why is because last night we got back from Park City and our flight got majorly delayed not majorly it was only a couple of hours i'm just happy it didn't get canceled but we got back at about 11 o'clock had to do laundry had to repack probably went to bed around one o'clock and now we just finished packing it's about eight o'clock i got probably like six hours of sleep last night so if i look tired and my face is very puffy it's because it's been a crazy past bit we're going with my parents and my sister jamie we have always wanted to go to big ben and do a lot of hikes and then also see Marfa and just kind of like the southwest of Texas. It's an area that I've never really explored. I've always wanted to. We've always wanted to go here. We wanted to see the Prada store and just really get to soak up a lot of what Texas has to offer that we haven't seen yet. So we are doing that road trip today. It is about eight o'clock. We need to run by CVS before. So we're gonna do that and then head out today and start our trip. So we're staying in Marathon, Texas, which is about seven hours from Dallas. So that's like our first leg of the trip. And if you guys didn't watch my last vlog, we also drove to Utah, so, but then we flew back home. And if you wanna know more about that, you can watch my last vlog. The past few days have been such a blur. If you guys are a part of my channel regularly, you know that I'm very, like into slow living, simple living, living my normal routine. I'm a very routine person, but the past week and a half has been like so much fun, but just so different than I normally am. So it's been great. So we're gonna drive down there, spend a few days in the area and then drive back on Tuesday. So it's kind of like a weekend trip, a long weekend trip, but I'm so excited to spend some time with my family because I didn't get to see them for Christmas. And I think it's gonna be just a ton of fun. We're staying in a really cool hotel too that I'm excited to show you guys. I've also been trying to get up these videos pretty quickly as I'm doing them so it was nice to get one night in our apartment I am really excited to come back and do like a reset day and take down all of the Christmas decor that's still up declutter I cannot wait for my January videos if you guys want to stick around that's like my thing i love just like resetting for the new year and especially because we will hopefully be moving in the summer i just want to be really conscious of getting rid of stuff and just having like a fresh simple space for the new year so i'm really looking forward to that but this is our last hoorah here's today's outfit i'm wearing this top that is from urban outfitters it's just like this little crop top and then an oversized button down that i got from h m i can never find the link to this though but i'll try to link something similar and then these are just the zara straight leg jeans that i love they're very loose they're comfy for the car and then my boots are just my steve madden booty so I wanted to show you guys a little room tour. This is the Gage Hotel. It is super cute, very Western themed. I also gave a little gift bag too for New Year's, but got our bed, room, and then in the bathroom, super spacious. So cute. This is in Marathon, Texas, which is kind of in the middle of nowhere, but it's really close to Big Ben. So we're staying here tonight and then staying a couple of other places too, but super cute. Got a little shower, so nice. Got some ropes. I love all the livestock artwork and everything. We ended up eating at Brick Vault Brewery, which was so good. They had amazing barbecue and it was right next to the hotel. And then afterwards, we just hung out by the fires that the hotel had, made some marshmallows, had some good chats. We just spent a little bit of time out with my family by the fire, roasted some marshmallows, had a glass of wine. It's also New Year's Eve. It's like 11.15 though. We're going to bed because we're so tired, especially because we just got back from that trip last night. Tomorrow we have a big day of hiking at Big Ben, so I'm really excited to share that with you guys. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We're also going to see what the town looks like here in the morning when we wake up since we can't really see because it's dark out, but I'm so tired right now. This bed is so comfy. I'm so excited to relax and just 
get a good night's sleep. It's so much fun getting to go on these trips with Aiden. He's in the shower right now and with my family. It's just, it's so special like making new memories when you get married and that person just like starts coming on all your family trips and it just makes trips like this so much more special like having someone that you love so much joining your family and coming on. I was just thinking about that tonight even though I know we got married like a year and a half, over a year and a half ago but it still is just so special so I'm really thankful tonight but also really tired so I will catch you guys in the morning. <laughs> It is New Year's Day today. I just finished getting ready. It's about 9.30. We're about to head out to go on our first hike, which is the Lost Mine Trail. It looks really pretty. I'm so excited to go see it. I think I'm gonna go walk around first though and see around our hotel since it's in the daytime. We can't really see. We couldn't see last night, but I wanna look around and see what it looks like. I'm so excited. We just went and got some breakfast, got a little yogurt parfait and coffee. Here is my hiking outfit. It's about 65 degrees and I think it's gonna get up to 75. So I'll probably end up taking this off, but I have this Lululemon Define jacket, which is my favorite. I love this jacket. I've been seeing it all over TikTok too, which I think is funny. It's like the most flattering jacket ever. It's just super cute and comfy. And then underneath, I'm just wearing one of the Lululemon Align tops. This is just the purple one with a sports bra. And then my leggings are just the Lululemon Aligns. I'm just wearing my Brooks tennis shoes because I don't own like hiking boots or anything, but I think it's gonna be fine. We then just drove out to Big Ben, which I think was about an hour and a half from the hotel we were staying at. And then the hike that we did was the Lost Mine Trail. That was the first hike that we decided to do. And then afterwards we ate at the Chisos Mountain Lodge. This is pretty much the only eating place in the park, which was actually really cool. I had no idea that there was a hotel and a restaurant in the park. And then we went ahead and watched the sunset, which was right outside of our hotel, which was incredible. random man. And this is what we're looking at. So it is so much later right now. It's like 7.30. We had a much different day than anticipated today. And I'll probably explain more tomorrow just because a lot has been going on. So I will fill you guys in tomorrow on everything that happened, but it has just been so crazy and definitely a different day than we expected. So I'll show you guys a little tour in the morning. We're just staying at the lodge that's in Big Bend. I think it's at the, it's one of the mountain ranges here. I forgot the name of it, but they have like a lodge with basically they're just like motels here, but it's so pretty. There's such a pretty view outside. So I'll show you guys in the morning. There has just been a lot that's going on and it's definitely been kind of a scarier day than anticipated, but everything is looking much better today. So my mom is so sweet. She packed this Aritzia sweat, which is so cute. I'm wearing it because it's very chilly outside. I think we're going to go out and go do some stargazing. And then there's also a restaurant. They only really have like one restaurant in Big Ben. It's a national park. I mean, you're coming here to hike, not to eat, but they have a restaurant where you can get food and there's also like a convenience store you can go to. That is what we're doing. I'm excited though tomorrow to get some hikes in and then tomorrow night we're actually staying in Martha, Texas. So it'll be a ton of fun. I'm really excited just to bring you guys along. Definitely feeling some low energy because we've just had a very crazy day today, but I think it'll be nice. You apparently can see the stars super well here. So it'll be really nice to see. Good morning. It is Sunday today. I'm just sitting out here on the porch. It is so peaceful just hearing all the birds and everything. 8.30 right now and it's actually freezing. I did not realize that there was going to be like a cold front coming in and so it's about 30 degrees <laughs> right now and I didn't really pack efficiently because we came from Park City and I threw out all of my winter clothes that I packed and I wish I would have brought them because I'm just wearing like leggings this jacket i have two layers on underneath but the hike that we're doing today really isn't anything intense we're just doing the santa elena canyon hike and it's actually about an hour away from here but it's only i think an hour to do so it's not like anything too intense so i think it'll be okay that's a bit more chilly but yesterday we ended up doing the hike it was the lost mine hike or the lost mine trail hike and we didn't realize it was basically entirely uphill the whole first half i think it was going to take three hours round trip so it was like a moderate hike and my dad we were about like i would say like 45 minutes in 
and he was just getting really lightheaded and like had to make really frequent stops and sometimes you kind of forget that your parents are like older and sometimes it takes them a bit more time to actually like get up on the hike and so we were all like making sure he was okay and so he ended up sitting down and he ended up passing out on the hike which was super scary um thankfully he was sitting down which was good so um he just leaned back just like a minute or so it felt like a few minutes where he had just passed out for a bit and it was just really scary we ended up we called like the park rangers to come and they came and like checked his vitals and everything and did like an ekg and everything and everything was fine i think that he just was dehydrated he hadn't had enough water and then also hadn't eaten enough but he's going to be taking it easy for the rest of this trip but it was honestly really really scary and that is why I didn't really vlog too much yesterday um my parents are staying in this place too but they're just in another room and yeah it just really threw me off i'm so thankful that he's okay and i'm also so thankful for the people who work here um i had called 911 to get the park rangers to come and they came in about 30 minutes aiden ran down the hill and ran back up to bring them to him so i'm just so thankful everyone was really helpful when everything was happening but it was definitely really scary in the moment my dad's okay everything was totally clear on the checks that they did they just told him to take it easy i think he just got a bit dehydrated but just a little psa to make sure you drink enough water and eat before hikes because i think that we just didn't know how intense that one was but i don't think it's going to come with us today for obvious reasons because that was just really really scary but yeah i'm excited for today's hike i think it's going to be good here's our view today just so crazy you're like right in the park it's super remote too and that was the thing that was scary about the stuff happening was there's not like a hospital close by it's about two hours away and so i'm thankful that everything was okay and that they were able to do all the checks on him because whew. the santa elena canyon hike was i think about an hour away from the lodge that we were staying at and this was an incredible hike it was so cool because actually across from the river you can actually see mexico you're not allowed to go over there but it's just cool you know knowing that you're that close to mexico and it was obviously such a beautiful hike and then after this we went ahead and checked into our airbnb which was in marfa texas which is a very small town so there's not a ton out there but our airbnb we found was incredible i think this was about three bedrooms and two bathrooms extremely modern i've never stayed in a home like this but marfa is known for a lot of their art and they have a lot of artists that live here and so you definitely can see that showcased in the airbnb that we stayed at and while it was modern it was actually super cozy we spent a lot of time here because the hours of everything in marfa are kind of crazy some places are open you won't really know if something's open until you show up and then there'll be a sign that'll say you know maybe you'll been tomorrow so it's a very quirky artsy town but we had a lot of fun exploring it we have officially made it to marfa i'm gonna cue a little house tour of the house that we're staying at because it is super cool it's very like modern and western we're gonna try to find some dinner but apparently here we didn't realize that it's very hard to find places to eat at last minute so Hopefully we can find a place to eat last minute, but I just got all changed, excited to look around. And then especially tomorrow, we're gonna explore more and then see like the Prada store and everything. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, but my outfit is super simple. I'm just wearing this sweater, which is from Wrangler. I actually got some PR for them, which was so cool, but it's this cute and comfy little cable knit sweater. And then my same Madewell flare jeans and then my Target boots. We had dinner at the Water Stop. This was one of the only restaurants we could find that was actually open and it was really good. I got like a chicken and a salad dinner. It was very delicious. And then we just showered and headed on to bed. We've all just been having like a very slow morning. Aiden is still asleep. I think Jamie's asleep too. My dad's up and then my mom is headed to the grocery store because we're gonna make a little breakfast, but I've just been sitting here at the table. I've been doing this new journal that I got. I'll show you guys. This is my devotional that I'm doing. This is a question that I always get asked, but this is my utmost for his highest. It's like a daily devotional that I started in December. I think December or November, November actually. 
And so I'm just doing the January one. But then I also got this journal from Hannah Ashton. She has her own journals that she sells and it's called the Dreamer Journal. And it's really cool. It has a bunch of different prompts and kind of to help you if you're not someone who's structured with journaling. And so she has a bunch of prompts that you can use as well as just like ways to dream more. And then she also has a lot of pages that are just blank. So you can also do like devotions in here as well. I know I touched on a vlog a while back how I am just not really much of a dreamer. And so I thought that this was such a good thing for me to start just to kind of, I don't know, think of things that may seem unrealistic to me, but actually work towards them. And so I really like this journal. I also love how like simple it is. So I'll have it down below if that's something you're interested in, but just been having a slow morning. Dad made us some coffee. So just drinking that. I think for the rest of the day, we're just gonna explore around Marfa and then also go to the Prada store, which is the thing that I have been most excited for, which I know it's kind of like a touristy Instagram thing, but I just think it looks so cool. So I'm excited to see that too later. Show you guys a little outfit of the day. It just got changed and I'm wearing my favorite little dress from Petite Studio. It has like a cutout in the leg and then the back is open. I think it's cute. And then I had to whip out my cowboy boots. These are from a flea market. I got these in Canton a while ago in Texas, but I think we're just gonna go around and look at some shops, see what's around. Marfa has a ton of different shops. The one that we really liked was Raba Marfa. It was so beautiful, all the things that they had inside, but it was also nice because the owner was super friendly. He was like sharing all about Marfa, which was really nice. And then we also popped into Community and then also a very famous hotel. They filmed a ton of different movie series. And then also this is a place that a lot of like older actors would stay. So it was really fun to get to see it. And then afterwards we stopped by Frama, which was actually actually a coffee shop in a laundromat. It was super cute. And then of course we had to see the Prada store, which is an art installation in the middle of nowhere. It's not a real store, but it was definitely something that was on my bucket list. We just got to the Prada store. You vlogging? I am vlogging. Oops. We just got to the Prada store, but there are lots of people taking photos. So I am waiting to take my turn. So I'm just waiting in the car because it's actually kind of chilly outside, but it is so cool. If you guys don't know, this Prada store is in the middle of pretty much nowhere. It's in Valentine, Texas. But the sunsets here are incredible because the sky is just so open. So we watched that on the way home and then it made some pasta for dinner. Ice and the Croix. Where's the ice? <laughs> Interesting. We are currently packing up to leave. It is Tuesday today, and I'm actually so sad to leave this place. I wanted to link it and show the outside because it's such a cool Airbnb, but I'm definitely ready to get back into my routine and get back into making videos. And I miss Cash so much. Cash stays with my family when we're gone. My siblings are home, so my brother Derek's home and my sister-in-law Avery, so he's with them. And then he was with my parents when we were in Park City, so he usually stays with them, but I miss him so much. But I wanted to show you guys, I'll have this place linked down below. I think it's super cute. It looks like a desert style. I think she called it a casita. I'm pretty sure is what it's called. And then over here, there's also like a whole nother wing to it. We didn't use this, but you can also use this one too. If you pay more, I think you get this too, but it has like a ton of stuff in there too. So super cute and definitely just a lot of space, really comfy beds. And just like that, we are back home, which feels so good after a solid two weeks of traveling. I am very thankful to be back into my routine. I'm about to start a little reset day of cleaning our apartment, meal prepping, getting back to it so if you guys want to stay subscribed you can look out for that it'll be up on saturday if you're watching this on wednesday when it goes up i also just woke up which is why i look like this but i just wanted to say that i will have links to everything down below that we did in case you were visiting in case you live in texas and this is something that you want to do i'll have everything linked down below i also have a highlight on my instagram if you guys want to check it out with everything kind of tagged and linked and all that jazz sorry i do not know what's going on outside i'm also so thankful to be back with 
with Cash. He has been with my family for basically a couple of weeks, which was a couple of weeks way too long. So, so thankful to be back with him. And let me know if you like these travel videos. I definitely want to do more in the new year if we go more places. And I just think they're fun to see new places, especially Texas is such a big state. So it's fun to explore and see what's out here. It was just so nice to get to spend time with my family. I love hanging out with my family and especially just my parents getting to see them more and hang out and see a new place with them was really just such a joy so so thankful for all this time but definitely ready to get back to it so thankful for you guys and i will catch you guys in my next video bye friends bye <laughs>